How are they called boards? I mean, I guess they're kind of vaguely boardish, but... It's not levels or something of that sort. I think that's pretty appropriate. Well, of course not. Why would I? Okay, so just do that. You gotta give me an option to do it. It's even better than normal job. Yay! That's the extra life. See, I knew there were extra lives in this game. And I'd seen the graphic, too. Oh man, that is a heck of a good word. Looks like he has goat toes. Two legs with goat toes. He's hooved. Oh man, that animation! Phew! Depth perception's a little tough in this game. Man, his leg animation is a little questionable. Super blind jumps. I don't know why I'm trying to do this. Instead of just going back to the center platform each time. Nice. I'm sure you can modify this game in some way to play as different characters in different places. I don't know, maybe. Not quite sure. I feel very unsure about those. Boom. Okay. That's a little overshot. Okay. Some acknowledgement of having fallen so far would be amusing, but alright. Whoa, why'd it go so fast? Oh dear! I just had a wall kick of some sort. Alright, well I barely made that. City Sombreros. Okay. And another gratuitous life. I usually have to earn those things. Nothing that can't be overcome by some jumping. Okay, why does one have more bubbles on top than another? Oh dear. Alright, not too bad. I like platforming though, so... This is ba this is basically the perfect cheat license game for me. The actual platforming is reasonably responsive and all that too. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Well, I thought... I could have some fun jumping or something. But, no. Well, that's a bit more bland than I thought it would be. Alright, sure. Alright, so almost 20 words in and we're already 15 minutes in. I don't know how long each episode's gonna be. Assuming we get more difficult in each area, though, and longer levels in each area, maybe longer levels, I don't know, but at least more difficult in each area, we'll have to probably see... Uh... Well, it depends on how... We'll probably... Yeah. I don't know how many levels there are in each area, that's the problem. If there are 20, then that would mean we're about uh, less than a third of the way through, maybe a quarter or so, depending on how much longer the levels go. Not quite sure. Whoa! I love it, we actually have momentum in this. If something's pushing you up and you jump, you actually go further. Patrick's very excited. Uh, well, if I want to play as Patrick and save Spongebob. In fact, isn't that what Obstacle Odyssey 2 does? I'm not sure. Well, speaking of playing as Patrick... There you go. That's why I wanted... Patrick, you slide so slowly. Why do you have so much friction? So something looks weird about this crap you have graphics. Also, look. Dude, this game controls the keyboard, the arrow keys. And you're having to go at weird angles. That's a little unkind of you. Let's undo this. Nice. And because I went down first, I don't have to do blind jumps anymore. Oh, why is there another teleporter there if it's just gonna bring you to the same place? This is really awkward. 
And I'm on this one. So I'm pick up the patties here. And then... Oh, here. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually hit the slope. I feel like I was gonna fly off because I hit that. Where are... Where I mean three more. I mean three more. Where are the last three? What? Did I... Was I really missing one? I didn't think I saw one I was missing. Whatever. Not playing for score. What happened there? It felt... I think I started pressing the up key before actually I control the Spongebob, so it didn't register. Jumping at awkward angles, though, while using the arrow keys, which can only move in increments of 45 degrees. It's a little annoying. In fact, this is actually a pretty well sort of 45 degree movement. But for Patrick, that was a little annoying. Okay. Yeah, it seems like there's increased friction on the edges, just to give you a chance to recover if you almost fall. It's kind of nice and friendly. Alright, well, we pet it here, guys. Come on. There we go. Wait, why do you give me more time at the end? Just to give me a bigger time bonus? It's a weird mentality. Why not just give me more time? More boxes. Oh no. Wait, did I not? Oh, okay. So to say, did we already do this? I can actually jump on this one. I was about to say, how am I supposed to get to Patrick? See, there's no indication, so I wasn't aware of that. And then someone drops slipping and sliding this time. It makes parts like this easier. Come on, dude. I think I can... Oh, do you have long and short jumps? I don't think so. I don't think the length of the button press actually affects your jump height at all. Alright, come on. This isn't very Spongebob music, I don't think. It's definitely like cheap licensed game music, but not Spongebob music. Alright, phew. I don't know if that was lazy or creative. thing again. Oh, okay, that's kind of mean. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Hop. But why? why? Why are those arrows there? Just to help you jump back across in case you so desire. In case you want to have a little bit extra fun doing it a second time. So close. So, Drop, you wanna. Okay. He was not feeling very responsive. He just was not doing anything for some reason. I guess. Be better about this this time. Ah! Shoo! See, I mean, it's not so bad from the perspective of. It's really only a problem in the sense that... Ah! Ah! Okay, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> I, I really like the platform slipping around like that, actually. <laughs> is it just messes with your controls. And it rotates that way. Boom. <laughs> I, I want to actually complete the levels, so I'm not playing around too much whenever I get flung into the air, but it is really funny getting flung into the air like that. Those ones are the only problematic ones. The other ones aren't so bad, except for when the camera's not cooperating. Come on, dude. I don't know what I don't know what there is. That awaits me. Patrick awaits me. It's the best thing. 
Alright. So what board are we on? Nice ending. Did we have almost level every five levels or so? Uh, okay, but where are the earth coins? Um, like, can, can I jump back? Or do I have to like, jump onto those? Okay, well. I just have to jump out onto those little platforms. I can't see them! Blind jumps are grand. It seems like sometimes on the recording, some of the letters don't show up. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Wow, okay. So it looks like this game's gonna take me about an hour to complete, if not a little longer. So, that works out. You gonna do anything, game? Like, yeah, I know, it's complete. Okay, I just decided to press the space bar. In that case... Hey! I beat SpongeBob. <laughs> Squidward! Wait, does Squidward get number five? There we go. I knew he would be on here. Blue Abyss. I don't think that's a thing in SpongeBob.